Dogged Grace by Joshua Bond Aunt Mabel visited one day and managed in her usual way to skewer all the homely chat by bringing her obnoxious cat, a spoiled beast as one may guess, and here's the story to confess. The family time was Sunday lunch, a pleasantry, but here's the crunch, for when it came to clear the table, watch the actions by Aunt Mabel, deftly as the scraps go round with scrappy scrapy type of sound, the plates on reaching table's end, she grabs them quickly to defend the tasty morsels for her pet, an act her hosts would not forget, for Wilf, their dog, lies by the fire, he trusts routine for plain desire, and wakes to food by salivation, ambles in a concentration, makes his way to kitchen's bowl, as is his normal happy roll, to find Aunt Mabel's precious cat one step ahead to where it's at. With quaffered hair and polished teeth, the cat gulps down the scraps of beef, and Wilf now struck by broken trust is left to lick the crumbs and dust, and with transgression of the law, like Oliver, does ask for more. The cat, high up on Mabel's knee, conveys superiority, and purring with a fiendish grin, stroked by her mistress on the chin, in high and mighty disposition, sneers at Wilf's now glum position, and rudely spits in poor Wilf's face. But Wilf, a dog of dogged grace, acceptingly counts one to ten, forgives the cat and then again returns to lie next to the heat and sees his life as still complete. He ponders by the crackling fire. The situation isn't dire, though stolen beef is not so great. Tis well and good. I'm overweight.'